Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering what is Python object. And then I will explain scope of variable and type conversion in Python. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description you can watch from there. At first, I will explain what is Python object. Python is object oriented programming language. That means in Python, everything is an object like list, set, tuple, dictionaries, and even variables and functions. All are objects. Python object contains three properties. And the first one is value. For example, here I written a equal to 10 where a is variable but in python everything is an object so we call this a as object and this object contains value that is 10 so first property is value whenever you write print a you will get output 10 because a contains value 10 so you will get output 10 this is first property next property is type an object can contains different data type elements for example here i written a equal to 10 where 10 is integer value whenever i write print type of a it will display data type int because where 10 is integer so it will display data type that is class int by using type function we can find data type of particular object and next last property is identity identity is nothing but address by using id function you can find address of particular object for example, here I written a equal to 10, where this object a contains value 10 and I written print id of a. Now this id function will display address. Each object has unique identity. So whenever you run this code, you will get output like 9789280. It will display some unique number as address. These are three properties of Python object. We can also call these properties as characteristics. And next topic is scope of variable. There are mainly two types of variable scopes. They are local variables and global variables 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 which are declared inside the function is known as local variables for example let us create one function let function name be fun as we know we will create function by using keyword that is def so at first write def and give function name that is fun and take brackets and give colon now inside this function i am taking variable that is a where a is variable i am writing a equal to 10 and write print a a different function now we need to call this function by giving function name here i given function name as fun so just give here fun whenever you run this code you will get output that is 10 because a contains value 10 so whenever you write print a you will get value that is 10 so output is 10 variables which are declared inside the function is known as local variables here in this example a is local variable because i declared a inside function fun after creating function definitely you need to call this function by giving function name if you don't call this function you will not get output so definitely call function after creating function so whenever you call this function that is fun at first it will check function fun is available or not yes function fun is available here so whatever the code that is present inside this function will be generated as output next i will explain global variables variables which are declared inside the function is known as local variables and variables which are declared outside the function is known as global variables for example, here I am creating function. As you know, we will create function by using keyword that is def define. And I am giving function name as fun, take brackets and give colon. In this example, I declared variable inside function. But here in this example, we need to declare variable outside the function. So just I am writing here print a and outside the function I am writing a equal to 10. Here I am declaring variable outside the function, not inside the function. I already said before, after creating function, you need to call this function in order to generate output. So just give your function name fun. That means I am calling this function fun. Here in this example, I declared variable outside the function. Now this a is known as global variable. And whenever you run this code you will get output that is 10. Next I will explain type conversion. Type conversion is the process of converting one data type into another data type. There are two types of type conversion in python. One is implicit type conversion and next one is explicit type conversion. At first I will explain what is implicit type conversion. Python automatically converts one data type into another data type is known as implicit type conversion. And python always converts smaller data types to larger data types. At first int is smaller data type and after int float is smaller data type and after float string is smaller data type. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is this implicit type conversion. Let us consider this example. Here I written a equal to 10. After writing a equal to 10, I written b equal to 10.5. Where this 10 is integer type 
and 10.5 is float type. Now I want to add this a and b. So just take another variable that is c, c equal to a plus b. Now I want to print result which is stored in variable c. So just write here print c. Print function is used to generate output. So whenever I write print c, I will get output that is 10 plus 10.5 that is 20.5. This 20.5 is my output. Where this 20.5 is float type. Though I given one value as int and another value as float, I will get result as float type because python will convert smaller data type into larger data type among this 10 and 10.5 integer is smaller data type so it will convert this integer value 10 to float type that is 10.0 so python will automatically converts smaller data type to larger data type so it will convert smaller data type 10 to larger data type that is 10.0 where this 10.0 is float type where c equal to a plus b where a value is 10.0 and b value is 10.5. So whenever you write print c, you will get output 20.0 which is a float type. This is implicit type conversion. Next I will explain explicit type conversion. Whereas in implicit type conversion, python will automatically convert one data type to another data type. But whereas in explicit type conversion, python cannot convert one data type to another data type automatically. So user should manually convert it. This is known as explicit type conversion. So in explicit type conversion, user should manually convert one data type to another data type. I will give an example. Here I written a equal to 10, where 10 is integer value. And next I written b equal to 10 in double quotations. If you write any value in double quotations, then it is considered as string. So now this 10 is string type. Now I want to add this value a and value b. So I am writing here c equal to a plus b. Now this c will store result that is a plus b and whenever you write print c, you will get output that is error. It will display error because python cannot add one integer value and one string value. Python cannot automatically convert this string value to integer value. So user should manually convert this string value to integer value. You can convert string value to integer value by using int function. Same example. Here I written a equal to 10 where this 10 is integer value. Next b equal to 10 in double quotations where this 10 is string value. And next I written c equal to a plus int of b. By using int function you can convert string value to integer value. So whenever you write int of b, it will convert string value 10 to integer value 10. So whenever you write print c, you will get output that is 10 plus 10 that is 20. 20 is my output. In this example, python cannot convert this string value to integer value automatically. So user manually converted this string value to integer value by using int function. So this is known as explicit type conversion. For example, if you want to convert float value to integer value, for example, let us consider one float value that is 10.5. Now I want to convert this 10.5 to integer value. You can convert float value to integer value by using function that is int. So just write here int of 10.5. Now it will convert this 10.5 to integer value that is 10. So whenever you write print int of 10.5, you will get output that is 10 because it will avoid this 5 and it will display only integer value that is 10. This is how we convert float value to integer value. For example, I want to convert string value that is 10 to integer. So by using int function, you can convert. So just write here int and this 10 in double quotations where this 10 is string. And whenever you write print int of 10, you will get output that is 10 where this 10 is integer value. And similarly, you can convert integer value to float. For example, I want to convert this integer value 10 to float. You can convert it by using float function. So just write here float. Whenever you write float of 10, it will convert this 10 to float value that is 10.0. So whenever you write print float of 10, you will get output that is 10.0 which is float value. You can also convert string value to float. For example, here I am writing print float and here I am taking string value because I want to convert string value to float. So just write here 10.5 in double quotations. So whenever you run this code, you will get output that is 10.5, which is float value. It converted this string to float. For example, I want to convert this integer value 10 to string type. So just write here print string of 10. So whenever you run this code, it will convert this integer value 10 to string type. So I will get output that is 10 where this 10 is string value. Similarly, write here string and I want to convert float value to string. So just I written 10.5 which is float value. So whenever you write print string of 10.5, 
you will get output that is 10.5 which is of string type and similarly you can also convert two integer values to complex number for example here i am writing complex because i want to convert integer values to complex and i am giving two values 1 comma 2 now it will convert this integer values 1 and 2 to complex number so whenever you run this code you will get output 1 plus 2j for example let us consider one tuple like 1 comma 2.5 comma btec now i want to convert this tuple to list so just write here list and write here print whenever you write print list of tuple 1 2.5 and btec you will get output that is 1 comma 2.5 comma btec in square brackets because it converted this tuple to list for example if you want to convert this tuple to set just write here set whenever you write print set of 1 comma 2.5 comma btec it will convert this tuple to set so you will get output 1 comma 2.5 comma btec in curly braces so by using set function you can convert list and tuple to set and similarly by using list function you can convert set and tuple to list and similarly by using tuple function you can convert set and list to tuple by using int function float function string function complex function set list and tuple functions you can convert one data type to another data type guys just remember that we cannot convert alphabet and words to integers for example here i have written int b where this b is alphabet so we cannot convert this alphabet to integer value so whenever you write int of b it will display error 